Hi, folks. Welcome. I'm Dan McDermott. This is Google Plus Week, our weekly look at the world's newest social network. Some pretty big news uh, happening this week. In addition to Google Plus, uh, some involving Google, some involving a hurricane that's on its way here. And I promise I'll give a bear update. Um, our our notes for the show are on Google Docs. And if you check my Google Plus profile for today's date, which is August 26th, you can uh, get the show notes. I'll also have them in the uh, video description um, on YouTube. So I uh, hope you'll check that out. Now, these are freely editable documents that uh, anybody can add things to during the show, and we'll talk about them um, as long as they're related <laughs> and they're not naughty. So uh, sometimes it gets out of hand. I'm also in the chat room right now at justin.tv slash Dan McDermott. And uh, Scott is – Scott's there, I see, and Angie and uh, – um, Arabella's there, and uh, it's a bunch of other folks, so I, I appreciate it. Uh, Bowie is supposed to call from Vancouver, and um, a buddy of his, I think Tristan, is supposed to call, so we'll hope, hopefully uh, have them on. And the number to call if you'd like to participate or just to listen on your phone, you can do that as well. Just don't press 1 unless you want to join the conversation. The number is 818-688-6625. Uh, that is the number, and I think we have uh, Tristan on. Tristan. Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing? All right. Uh, you're a buddy of uh, uh, Daniel Bowie in Vancouver, so we want to thank you. Um, yes, sir. If you have not yet seen the show notes, uh, go ahead and check them out. Um, and I have a link on my Plus page, which is at uh, gplus.to slash McDermott. Also, anyone who's listening on the audio network, you're, uh, you can watch the show at the justin.tv slash Dan McDermott link, and you can participate in the chat room um, there as well. Just make sure if you call, you turn the volume down uh, if you're watching the video because there's a delay. All right, um, before we get into all the plus stuff, I want to give a quick bear update. The, the One week ago today, right before the show, there was a 400-pound black bear. Every time I tell the story, it gets bigger. It was about 400 pounds. A neighbor also told me that the bear had two cubs, so uh, three bears. I just didn't see them. And, I, of course, now I have my phone and cameras and everything ready, and there's no bear. So um, if the bear returns, I will hopefully have photographic and video evidence for you uh, to enjoy the bear. And let, and maybe it will eat me, and I'll have a great scoop. Um, also, there's a storm-headed a buddy, a, a friend of mine in Connecticut, asked me to email her the weather forecast. And it was Saturday night, tropical storm, Sunday night, hurricane, Monday, sunny, 79. So... Every cloud does have a silver lining. Um, and then um, one other note about the hurricane. Uh, Governor Chris Christie tweeted. <laughs> I love this guy. Uh, he tweeted, uh, get the hell off the beach. Because um, there was some people tanning on the beach or something, and he was trying to get them off. So he tweeted that, uh, get the hell off the beach. So um, he's uh, sort of a no BS guy. And he's not running for president. I, I don't know. He hasn't said that for several hours, but uh, indeed he's not. All right, um, so one of the things, uh, again, before we get strictly into Google+, Plus, I want to talk about Steve Jobs, and there was a viral post on Google+, Plus, and um, I'm going to uh, find this link here. It was, it was great. It was a story. I'm, I'm, sh- I'm guessing that most of you have read this um, by now, and it, it was basically that it was by uh, Vic uh, Gondotra, Gondotra at, uh, he's a big shot at Google, and he got a call. He was at the time he was having relations with Apple in his job at Google. And Steve Jobs called him up and said, "We have a big problem. Uh, call me as soon as possible." It was Sunday. The guy was in church um, or in religious services. I'm not sure where he goes. And uh, the, the message was, "Call me immediately." You know, we have a big problem. Call me at home. It was Sunday, and so he called him. And he said, "Yep the the second O in Google is the wrong shade of yellow. It's the wrong gradient. I, I have a guy waiting. We want to fix this up." And let's get it fixed by tomorrow. Um, And, you know, it just just shows you the detail that Steve Jobs um, goes into, and he's a real design guy. So um, another thing that kind of made me angry, and and I promised Bowie a rant, um, there was a post on ZDNet, Ziff Davis Net, where this guy, I think the title, I didn't even link to it, um, but it was called... uh, Steve Jobs is retiring, and I couldn't care less, or I don't care at all, or something like that. And I read it, and it was just, you know, he's entitled to his opinion. But um, there's no denying that largely, if not entirely, because of Steve Jobs, or he, he's clearly the deciding factor. Uh, Apple is the second most valuable company in the world. 
they have uh, steadily put out, you know, it's, it's easy to invent a light bulb. It's harder to invent a light bulb and then a phonograph and then the printing press, uh, not necessarily in that order. But the the point is that, you know, he he did the iPod, he did the, the iPhone, he did the, the iPad and um, increasingly innovative and awesome laptop notebook computers and uh, iTunes. You know, he was he's a trendsetter. Um, he does it. Sometimes he's very innovative. I mean, tablets have been around since Star Trek, right? But he he does it better than anybody else and creates sometimes a whole new market niche. Um, and uh, I just think that, you know, the guy's obviously ill. He's got uh, cancer. He's on medical leave. And now he's he said that cl- clearly in his letter of resignation, he said that because I am um, – I don't feel that I, you know, I always said that when I didn't feel that I could do the job, I would step down, and now is the time. So uh, you don't kick a guy when he's down, and this isn't uh, some bad guy who you're writing about some atrocities he's committed. This is a very innovative tech guy who created lots of jobs and created great products that tens if not hundreds of millions or billions of people use and like, um, regardless of whether you have Apple products. And the author, uh, to his credit, liked Apple products. He just... It was a it was an SEO technique. It was um, I hate to question the sincerity of any writer, but um, in this case, I, I think it was uh, trying to get hits and, and dig up some drama. And you know, I own three tabloid newspapers. I know you know what that means, but I think that this it was a little over the top. So that's that's my rant for Bowie, who asked me for uh, a rant to uh, placate Vancouver. All right, so um, we've hit the hurricane and we survived the uh, tumultuous earthquake earlier this week. I say that with a grain of salt. And uh, now let's get to Google Plus stuff. All right, uh, there was an interesting article, and um, again, we're linking to it, but it was uh, a little over about 50% of people, adults, use social media. That could be Twitter, that could be uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus. And as, as, as we've acknowledged several times on the show, um, there are uh, a, a tiny fraction of people who are uh, using Google Plus compared to Facebook. I mean, I think it's like 3 or 4% now. And then, of course, there was the initial boom and then sort of a waning period as you uh, the early adopters check it out. just like a new restaurant. Everyone goes, and then do they come back? Um, but I like it. I really like it. And it, w- it was interesting. There's a, it was a poll, um, a Pew Internet survey uh, released on Friday. Half of U.S. adults are logged into sites like MySpace, Facebook, or LinkedIn. They surveyed uh, about 2,300 adults. 65% of Internet users said they use social media. Um, and But really, it's it's up because it, it, was, um, it was a lot less. It w- in 2008, in a similar study that Pew conducted, they found that uh, 29%, less than a third of all Internet users, said that they used social media. So its adoption is more than doubled in three years, and it's becoming more relevant. Um, interestingly, some of the oldest folks who use it, seniors, are um, not as likely as younger groups to use it every day. But I think that uh, I'm amazed at the um, at the adoption. My my parents are on it. They love Facebook, and they talk to their grandkids, um, and they look at pictures of their great grandkids on there. And they're 73, and they've got their. They each have their own computers. They're upgraded every couple of year. My dad installed a network in the house. It's great, you know. I remember when they got their first computers. So this is, it's exciting, and it's a, it's a new era um, in technology that is impacting so many folks. So uh, it's Tristan, right? Tristan, am I pronouncing that yes, correctly? Sir. All right, uh, you can yes, call me sir, Dan. Yes, I'm not a sir. I'm I'm just a Dan. Um, Okay. Now you, uh, I'm going to pull while you talk. I'm going to try to pull your your profile up here and try to snag your picture. Um, and if anyone from YouTube wants to know, in my little uh, note when I post it, yes, you you gave me your permission earlier. So tell me, are you uh, where where are you calling from, Tristan? A uh, little place called Fay County, Tennessee, on the edge of Memphis. Oh, okay. Um, and you are Tristan Gilbert, correct? Yes, sir. I mean, okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Um, okay, I'm just I'm pulling your picture up here. Um, okay, so let's see here. I'll, I'll grab his picture. And um, so tell me, uh, how did you get involved in? Uh, I guess you're a Google Plus aficionado user, and yep. you ran into Daniel Bowie online. Yeah, I use Google Plus. Um, my friend actually sent me the invite back when I was still using Facebook about two months ago, and then. I bought an Android phone about a week later, got the app, and I was like, 
this is nice that you some more features, which they've added by now. And I like the way it's set up. It doesn't have those uh, annoying apps compared to other social networks yet. I stress yet. And um, the games are good. I, sometimes I get on the games a little bit. And the video hangouts is amazing. I love streaming with people and chatting and socializing. I think it's a really good network so far. How do you compare the games to Facebook? Are you a big Facebook user as well? Not anymore. I deactivated my Facebook two days ago. Really? Um, that's interesting. Yes, I mean, I find myself using it less, but I still find a lot of my friends and colleagues uh, are, and coworkers are primarily on Facebook, and they're primarily not on Google Plus. So you don't you don't have that same uh, social situation. I, can, I converted most of the people I talked to to Google Plus, or they've already been on Google Plus, so it wasn't really a problem transitioning for me. Okay, and then um, so how old are you, Tristan? May I ask? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, so you're. <laughs> I guess we, we're going to call you out here because you're, you're not old enough to be on Google+. Plus. So you must uh, – I hope we don't get you busted. I guess I won't put up uh, too much information about you. We don't want no. to get you in trouble. But that's one of our topics is that um, – one of our topics we're going to talk about is, uh, is the notion of uh, letting minors on. And that's one of the things that they've, they've, they're discussing now. Um, so, uh, so you've actually deactivated – how many friends did you have on Facebook? Roughly 200. Okay, um, and then uh, so you've converted most, if not all, of them to Google Plus. Yes, I did. Okay, how big is it? Uh, you said what? What state are you in again? You said Tennessee. Okay, um, is it? Is that a big? St I mean, is that? Do you find? I mean, if you, if, when you run into people at the mall or at school or whatever, do you find uh, more young people or? Or folks your parents' age, or senior citizens, your grandparents' age. Uh, when you ask, invariably, you know, because you're sort of an evangelist for it, uh, a proponent of it. Um, when you go up to people, like I'll go when I'm getting a haircut or what what have you, I'll, I'll say, "Are you on Plus yet?" And I get a variety of responses. What what groups do you see, like at school, or if you have a job at work, or your parents, or your parents' friends? Where do you see folks responding? Yeah, I'm on. Or what is it? I don't know anything about it. Or yeah, I've been thinking about it, but I don't have an invite yet. In my school, nobody knew about it except for about two people. And when I run into people in public, because uh, like, I just run into people and talk to them and socialize, and I'll ask them if they're on Google Plus or anything about it. Some of them say they do, and they're around their mid-20s. And um, I know older people really don't know about it. Okay. Um, all right, Tristan, uh, do you have a gplus.to uh, URL? No, not yet. All right, you should get one. You should get Tristan or something, and, and uh, uh, next time you're on, we'll get that because you'll get ads um, from doing the show. All right, so I'm going to look at the chat room real quick and see. Um, I see some notes here. I did the bear update. Christina is uh, – can't do the show all the time, but she's going to call in when she can. But she's not going to be a regular. She's got a lot going on right now. And uh, we wish her well in all of her projects. And she's uh, taking a step back from doing it constantly. So um, uh, we'll have different folks on, which is, you know, it's good to have different uh, folks like Tristan giving us a different perspective. Um, and then uh, I see a humorous post about Steve Jobs from Scott. And then um, – uh, a reference to a Mike Elgin thing again. Uh, Steve Jobs is ill, and uh, we wish him well. Uh, and and I think it's great the way he's doing it. I think you know he's he's stepping back. But really, this is just putting on paper what's been happening because the other guy was running was in the CEO interim position. He's on official medical leave, uh, so he's going to remain on the board if they'll have him. And of course, they will. Um, sort of like Alan Greenspan, presidential candidates would say, as long as he's breathing and wants the job, he can remain Fed uh, chairman. Um, and then. Uh, all right, so uh, all right. Um, now let's go back to our list here, and there's a new. Uh, Tristan made a reference to it. There's a new Android app out. Have you used that? Do you have Android, Tristan? Yeah, I do. And uh, tell like have you have you downloaded the new app? Tell me what you like about it. 
Well, now I can share my post, which I like. The problem is I still can't correct the comment, and I can't plus other people's comments yet. Uh, it, it, okay, you can't plus it. Yeah, I noticed that. That's kind of a bummer. Um, and then uh, you can, but the sharing, the reshare thing is really cool because that's that's one of the problems with plus is that, that if you have a lot of folks you follow, your stream just moves so fast that you're uh, it's gone by the time you know you can't really share it or whatever, um, and especially on your phone. And I've I have literally found myself racing back. Uh, if, if there was something really hot, I want to grab back to my desktop computer because I wasn't able, you know, to do it on my phone. So it really wasn't functional yet. It's not there yet. Just like Google Plus on the desktop really isn't totally there yet. They're still innovating. Um, but yeah, I love the new Android app. And uh, Bowie is the one who got me on Android. And also Christina uh, Trapolino was a big Android uh, fan, and and they both convinced me. But mainly, Google Plus is the reason that I abandoned BlackBerry and went with Android because I wanted to use Google Plus on my phone. And then once I looked at the differences between what the BlackBerry uh, had to offer, uh, which it, it, they're great at email and things like that, but the Android, it's like having, it's like going from a really nice calculator to, um, you know, an entry level computer. Uh, switching from BlackBerry to Android is just night and day difference. It really is. Um, another uh, a couple other features that are that are not necessarily on on the mobile app uh, that came out is one is are you familiar uh, what do you think about the ignore feature Tristan do you like that that's a new one the ignore well, and no, some notifications I've had to ignore yet you haven't seen my stream yet no I'm just kidding um, but yeah the the it's neat because you can there was a block feature. And one thing to, that's important to note is just like if if if, uh, if Tristan puts me in a circle called boring old guys or something, I won't know what he called the circle. And and so you can have your close friends, your um, your people I'd like to date, your friends I tolerate but don't really like. You can call whatever you want to call it, and they won't know, right? Because just like in your real circles in your mind, you wouldn't necessarily want everyone to know exactly how you designate them in your in your personal mental social circles so it's kind of the same thing but now you can ignore someone uh you can block them and you can ignore them which is kind of not as is uh um i guess you can i'm not sure what the difference is but it's not as severe as blocking them and in either case they don't know uh that they're being ignored if someone just puts you know one too many game updates or something in their regular stream or what have you um and then there's uh, some updates to notifications, and I guess now it'll tell you if someone has followed you back versus uh, just a straight-up follow. Uh, and then I'm going to look. There was something else in this post I wanted to mention. Um, you can – yeah, it'll tell you someone has uh, added you on Google+. Plus. Or added you back on Google+. Plus. And then for the ignore, it's like saying I'm not interested. Clicking it means that we hide the notification itself and remove the posts that person is sharing with you from your incoming stream. Uh, and again, we don't not notify that person you've ignored them. Uh, if you want to ignore several people that you've added, you can click the new Ignore All button in the Notifications menu to ignore them all at once. So that way, if it's if it's some person who you don't particularly care for, but they're in your real life social circles and you don't want to offend them, and they please add me to a circle. Uh, you can add them to a circle, but if you don't find their posts relevant, interesting, what have you, you can uh, ignore them, and they don't—they're none the wiser, right? And um, Bowie is uh, trying to call the number, um, and he's not having any luck. So let's try to figure out what the deal is. Uh, it's the number is eight one eight six eight eight six six two five eight one eight six eight eight six six two five. All right. Um, and Boo's going to join us. I'm going to have to get his picture ready at the risk of uh, chasing off our viewers, putting his picture up. Uh, let me go back to our list here. Uh, if you'd like to add something to the list, you could still do that. And there's uh, th this is interesting. On the real name debate, we've, we've gone into this. What, what do you think, uh, Tristan? What, what, what's your opinion on Google's policy that you have to use the, the name you go by in real life? What do you think about that? Well, I think people should have a choice whether they want to remain, remain anonymous or not. 
and only have their friends know their true identity? Because it's interesting because I saw a post where an insurance agent actually sent someone a message via Google Plus because they found their real name on there. They say, say that again? They did an what? Insurance agent, an a, insurance agent sent a post to a person on Google Plus because they saw their real name. What uh, what was the about that. what was it about? I mean, what was it was it like? Um, was it good news or bad news? I don't know what the post was. I just know I saw the story about it on Google Plus. Someone posted the story, but it's about an insurance agent that was able to contact the person through Google Plus because they saw their real name. Okay. And people. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if that was that a good thing or a bad thing. Do we know? I mean, I would think it could be a um, good thing, right? Some people say it's scary. One person actually commented, that's just good customer service. I would say that. I would think that. Uh, uh, it, I mean, it, it's the, the whole point is, of course, they, they make the policy up front. That's the way it is. And they it's not a secret. And you can choose whether or not you want to be a part of the network based on that. Um so I can see, but we've had we've we've gone through this. This is a big deal. This is a uh, it's a hot topic um, that we've discussed over and over again, and you know some folks get really upset about it, and uh, some folks who have had their their commonly used nicknames um, that they use in real life they adopted on here, and they weren't you know Google freaked out, and then initially they were just banning people in mass and now they're um apparently uh there there's a period where they warn you and then they take no action and then if they do you know block you you can still download your stuff uh and you have an appeal process before it was sort of post in a forum unless you're famous and then we'll fix you um like the verified names thing you know everyone's like well i guess i'm not famous enough because i don't have a verified uh check mark next to my profile um and they don't i don't think they've said how you get that I guess they're just focusing on the uh, William Shatners and Lady Gaga's. And if Justin Bieber comes on, we'll probably be clogged for weeks uh, with all the extra traffic. Um, but it'll be a good thing. It'll open up to a whole new demographic. So, uh, yeah, it's a big thing. And one, one in, the, in our show notes here, again, they're uh, on my profile. You can check them out. You can edit them, add stuff. Uh, it's open to anybody for editing and viewing. Madonna is verified, it says accusations are that her PR person is actually writing her updates um, aren't brands not allowed and wouldn't that in effect be a brand and I guess if it is her I don't know that's a tough call I'm thinking um, I think uh, Bowie's joining us is that you Bowie yeah I'm about to hop in the elevator so I don't know if I'm gonna get cut off or not okay cut off, I'll give you a call back. no cussing um, I, was I won't mind. talk, don't worry. I'll, all right, all right. Um, you get the beeper ready. I don't have a delay, right? Well, I have a delay, but I can't control what, what makes worry, it to the I'll, delay. I'll, I'll, I'll watch myself. Don't worry. I'll watch myself. Uh, but Bowie, what do you think? That This is an interesting question. Um, Madonna is a brand, right? Uh, she's also a, a person. And if, if she is posting herself as Madonna... Um, versus having a PR person post for her, does that make her a brand that that uh, and she shouldn't have her profile? What What do you think? It's kind of a technicality, I guess. Uh, oh, I, I haven't I haven't uh, seen any of the posts that, uh, that her PR people have made. What kind of posts did it make? I don't know. I mean, just it, 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 it really depends on what kind of posts they make, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Let me look. I'm going to go look. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, She's under the name Madonna, and we'll see if she's verified. Yeah, so if, if, uh, if, they're, if they're posting the really personal stuff, well, I, I have you your playing in the background here, so i got to pause that first so there's no delay. Yeah, so, I see, uh, hello, you there? Yep, I see uh, she's not verified. Um, I don't think this is official here. This says Madonna official, and she only has 519 so might, people. That might not be the right one, then. But, yeah, yeah, you should be able to find her. To me, to me, to me, I think it all depends on on what they post. I mean, if the PR people are posting like personal stuff that that she herself would do, then 
I don't think that's right. But if, but if everyone already knows that that it's her PR people posting it on her behalf, then it's all good. I it, I think I get I guess it would fall under a brand and a company. Yeah, I I, I say brand. I go with brand. But it's depending Madonna on what they post. Real name? No, it's not her real name. I don't know if you. Ch- I, she you could be banned. To Madonna was. Well, but that the the rule is that it's it's. Uh, it's the name you go by in real life. So if she goes, you know, she goes by, uh, yeah, I can't find her. I mean, I see there's several on here, and they have one has 142 people have circled her, and one's 500. I don't think either one's legit. Uh, one has a picture of a tennis shoe shaped hamburger, which is intriguing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. That's a whole thing. Uh, but, but then, it says it's then, verified. Which, which, which you have to understand, though, is, what you got to understand, though, is, any celebrity in the public is a brand. They they are marketed like like any 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 basketball player. Everyone is a brand. Michael Jordan is a brand, right? So so they are brands. But when they when they have their own personal page, like their own personal Twitter, where they post personal stuff like that, they post themselves. Then then that's different. But if 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 it's a if it's a page or a profile. For the for for them for like the the public where they're promoting stuff, then I say that's a brand. Not it's not it won't be their personal page. Personal pages won't be won't be promoting anything like that. Yeah, uh, I'm think. looking I'm, in the chat room. I'm looking here and I see uh, they have. Uh, I'm I'm looking at the chat room on Justin TV, and they they put um. I see the first post here. I thought it might be legit because. She t- not only does she talk with this made-up British accent, but she writes in it, too. MTV have launched uh, a poll allowing you to vote, blah, blah, blah. And the next one, want to be a dancer on Madonna's next tour. Our girl is joining Smirnoff to bring you... Yeah, it's clearly not her her writing these things. But then one says, I feel like the luckiest girl. I don't know. I don't think she has time for this, does she? Oh, I didn't know um, there was a chat here. That's cool. What's up, people? Uh... <laughs> I thought you were in an elevator. You have, what, are you walking around with a desktop? Who's uh, joining us from the 845 no, no, area I, code? I'm out of the elevator now. Okay. I'm, out, I'm, I'm upstairs now. All right, and who's joining us from the 845 area code? This is Prisoner. Hey, hey Prisoner. I thought you couldn't join us tonight. Well, is, I was able to get out of my uh, my previous obligation a little early, so I uh, got on as soon as I could. All right, you raced out to uh, geek out with us, guys. That's awesome. You got it. And I All posted right. in the chat room... The uh, the URL for Madonna Dot's official verified uh, profile, and that's the one that you were reading from. Yeah, um, I can't pull it up on my computer here. It's on my um, my streaming computer. It's not on my desktop, so I can't post it. But uh, yeah, it's clearly a PR person writing this. And I mean, she doesn't write in the third person about herself. I don't guess. Maybe maybe she does. Um, but yeah, so uh, all right, I got to get. I gotta get. Uh, I'm gonna get these shots edited. So, what do you guys think? Uh, is there a problem here, Prisoner? What do you think? Uh, you're you're kind of sensitive on this issue, right? Well, you know, this is my hot topic, and uh, when when this was posted, um, when when this hit the news last Friday, um, one of the the Google Plus uh, community leaders posted it, and uh, I and a bunch of other people essentially challenged it, saying, "Look, why is uh, why is Google Plus allowing a profile that violates their name policy?" And you know they've they've uh, they've kicked people off for using names very similar to this. Um, why are they allowing a profile on that's clearly a brand? It's clearly represent you know it's it's not the person doing it. It's clearly representing it, which violates their no business is allowed policy. And to add insult to injury, they went and verified it. You know, so there are a lot of people going, okay, yeah, we can understand why Google wants nice high profile names here, but you know. Here they went, and they went and violated at least two, possibly three different policies of theirs to do it. Yeah, come on. That's, uh, you know, like I said, it's adding insult to injury. Um, Bowie, what's your current name you're going by, real quick, for your Bowie. picture here? I'll go by Bowie. Everyone calls me Bowie anyway, so Bowie. Spell it B-O-O-H-E-Y. B-O-O-E-Y. Okay. And then, um, all right, I got you. All right, so that's Bowie. Uh, and then uh, I'm doing Prisoner next. Find my lighter. Mm. All right, so um, 
All right, so prisoner, you 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 kind of miffed at this, right? Uh yeah, you can say that. <laughs> he's hanging on, man. He's he's pissed off. Um, but uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, um, I think uh, I think it's a point. It's a valid point. And it seems to be there seem to be two sets of rules. There seem there seems to be a rule for the general public, and there seems to be a rule for celebrities. And I think that um, to some degree, you have to. You know, when someone gets on, there needs to be certain protections for public figures because for them and for also for the public, because you want to know, am I really talking to Lady Gaga or posting on Justin Bieber's page um, or, you know, congratulating Madonna sure. on well, something? And, and, and am I getting but, legitimate information on that page about tour dates and such? So I could see that. Yeah, but here's, here's the thing, Dan. You know, at the same time, I want to make sure that I'm talking to the real Dan McDermott. You know, right. and I know that my friends want to make sure they're talking to the real Alan Furstenberg. You know, and, uh, you know, verified names are, are fine for celebrities. We understand why, you know, they, they deserve them. But, you know, let's, uh, let's understand that verified accounts, everyone deserves a verified account because their friends are looking for them and not looking for somebody who may be trying to imitate them. And right. there are people out there who will do it. All right, we got a uh, 901 area code. That's Tristan, correct? Yeah, uh, I, my call was dropped. That's okay. I just want to make sure. 901. Hey and there, then uh, 585, who's this? Uh, this is Anthony. Anthony? Yep. How you do- Anthony, how you doing? Are you, are you, you want to join us? You got an opinion on this, or are you just hanging out and listening? Um, well, my general, I mean, I, you guys are like, you know, towards the end of your conversation, but, uh, um, yeah, I, I kind of agree with, uh, where Google's coming from, though. I mean, Facebook does it too, so. Um, as far as I mean, the, the, uh, the, anyway. the real name policy or the verified accounts policy? Uh, the real names. I like the verified accounts policy, like they have with, uh, Twitter. You know, they do that too. Yeah, I think um, Anthony. Do you have? Um, do, uh, do you want to put your picture up? Uh, my profile picture isn't actually a picture of me. So. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. No problem. Um, all right. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over. Um, prisoner, are you are you are? Do you have access to the uh, the cheat sheet here? Um, yes, I do. Uh, why don't you do me a favor? What, you want to go over the uh, find the link? The Tim O'Reilly interviews Bradley Horowitz. That was really interesting, and they go through some points here. Now, what this is, um, let's see if, if if prisoner can pull that up. And I'm going to intro it while while I um, while he get, he gets he looks at it real quick. But basically, this was a really interesting video, and I got to watch a portion of it. I think I got some background. That noise is coming from Bowie, so I'm going to mute him for just a moment. Um, but yeah, what, what, what's going on here is, uh, there was a interview with, um, the vice president for product for Google plus, and it's, uh, a really good takeaway here. Um, do you want to go over some of these points? Because they address a lot of this stuff as we look toward the future prisoner. You want to, um, you want to hit some of these things while I edit this picture? Sure. Sure. This is always it's always exciting for me to hear about when they when they leak little tidbits of information about what's coming because a lot of us who are excited about Google Plus are more excited by the potential than what's there now. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are kind of yeah, everyone knew it was coming, but we'd like to hear more about it. You know, so things like they're talking about how um, some of the APIs are going to be opened up more and more. And everyone knew, yeah, of course there were going to be APIs eventually. But here's um Here's Bradley coming out and saying, yes, they're really going to be opening up the APIs. They've always planned on doing so. Um, it's going to be opened up bit by bit, so probably the, the first APIs that are out there will let people create their own clients to, to read and do simple posts. And then over time, we're going to get a much more uh, detailed um, and elaborate set of APIs that we're hoping we can do some, some awesome things on. We've actually started seeing some of that. Um, now more and more the uh, the plus one buttons that you might see on websites, those are now hook, uh, hooking in even closer to plus uh, than we had seen in the past. And information about that's just beginning to come out. Um, I think for me, of course, the big issue was that 
Bradley acknowledged they really do understand. You know, he's trying to convince us that they really do understand the the real name issue, the common name issue, the pseudonym issue, and you know they're admitting they're making mistakes. And you know, hey, for Google to admit they're making mistakes is a big thing. Um, I don't, Brad, I don't know if it's it, mistakes as much as it, it. They're they're baking a cake for the first time, and and they're trying recipes and. They're hashing it out, and they're going to put more sugar in it next time. Um, I think it's uh, one of the things, the, the pseudonym issue, the, the big thing is that they're hearing from folks like you who use a nickname with your real friends in real life, so seemingly you um, you abide by the policy that they have stipulated, that you go by the name you go by in real life, and you're doing that, but but then you're at risk of, uh, of having your profile nuked. I think you've been through that a couple times, right? I fortunately haven't. Have only you know spent just two weeks in the in the Badlands. There are people uh, on who have been kicked off three times now for having the name that's on their driver's license. You know, so it's it's a uh, it's a big mess, and people keep hoping they're going to to finally figure it out. And uh, you know, here's Bradley saying they know they're they're having a lot of rough spots with it. Yep, and uh, so they're they're addressing that. Um, and one one was listed here. Her name is Violet Blue, and um, they keep nuking her. And this other person, there, I think he's been nuked three times or gotten flagged three times. And he has to uh, on two occasions. The first two times, he actually took a picture of his driver's license and sent it in. Um, and then uh, the third time, he's just waiting to see what happens. So he's he's uh, he's chaining himself to the fence uh, in protest, waiting to be arrested. And then um, I guess Facebook. I'm not sure what changes they're talking about. I've, I've seen some with the privacy policy. Um, do you know what they're discussing? That they say are, were inspired by Google Plus and and Horowitz said that this is a good thing that they're they're affecting other social networks as well. I, I think what he's referring to is that Facebook announced, and I haven't seen the changes myself, that they're going to be making their privacy controls and the privacy controls that you can you've been able to do for an individual post much more prominent, much more easy to use, um, changing a little bit how it works, just uh, not so much taking on all of the aspects of how Google Plus is doing it, but kind of uh, almost acknowledging that, hey, uh, maybe they could have made it easier and better in the past. Now, a lot of people are are crediting Google Plus for doing that. Uh, I don't know. Knowing Facebook, a lot of these changes were probably somewhere in the pipeline, and uh, maybe they got speeded up recently, but I don't think Facebook's been ignoring them completely all along. I think this is Bradley saying, hey, uh, we're finally real competition to Facebook, and real competition's only going to help everyone. Right. Um, Okay. Uh, And then um, they said that they're going to address the issue, and they expect to have minors. uh, like Tristan uh, being able, what do you think? Should they allow people under eighteen to use uh, Google Plus? Tristan, what do you think? I think they should, at least above thirteen. At least let them on Google Plus. But yeah, um, I think it's. Uh, I guess it's a legal issue that they're. What do you think, uh, 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 Bowie? What do you think? Should they um, about the minors? I don't see why they they shouldn't be on or why they can't be on. I mean, I, I mean, I, I understand uh, not letting people like the kids under thirteen on, right? But you know, uh, when you're, I remember when you're a, uh, being a teenager in high school, you know, you 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 want to chat with all your friends and whatnot, right? So uh, I see, I see uh, social networking or social network sites as a, as a media for that, right? All those kids can jump on and, and chat with all their friends. It keeps them out of trouble. I can see that. I don't, I don't see what's wrong with that. All right, and uh, let me let me switch gears real quick because uh, Tristan brought up the games that he likes. Anthony, um, what do you think? Of, have, have you played with any of the Google Plus games? Um, I've played with the Google Plus games a little bit. Um, I mean, the games. It's just like yeah. Facebook. I mean, basically the... Um, Entering into a segment that Facebook has already done and makes Facebook a lot of money. Um, I mean, yeah, basically, the games. There's not much you really can say about that. Okay, so you find them. It's the same experiences on Facebook. 
Well, actually, um, now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, I do like how the notifications are completely separated from the uh, the stream. Mm-hmm. They have, the game has a stream, so you don't see that. Yes, I love that too. Uh, Tristan, what do you you, uh, you you basically agree? You 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 like them and you use them and you think that. Uh, do you see any differences that you like about Facebook's version or or, or Google Plus's version, one or the other? I, I like that it's not in the stream, like when there's a notification or anything, like it is on Facebook. It's on the wall. It's posted on your wall and it's posted on all your friends' walls, and I can't stand that because it floods my wall whenever someone gets an achievement in Mafia Awards or something. And I like that. In Google Plus, the way they implemented it, it's really nice. The um, other that's... nice thing about the uh, the uh, other nice thing about <laughs> the other nice thing about the notifications is when you do post a notification to the uh, game stream, you don't have to post it to everyone that is in the game stream. You can just post it to certain circles, like you can with you know any other um, uh, notification. So, and I guess uh, the one thing when they first came out is is collaborative, and I think Bowie, we discussed that where we're looking forward to uh, you and I duking it out in some kind of violent game where I could just totally crush you. Uh, what are you talking about, man? I crush you in anything. <laughs> mano y mano. Don't no, forget, don't you can't there. cuss. Watch yourself. See, he's disarmed I know, I'm, because I'm he can't. Myself. I'm doing very well right now. Prisoner, do you uh, are you a big game nut on Google Plus now? I am not a big game nut on Google Plus. I play one game, but I am not a big game nut on Google Plus, mostly because it's hiding away in another stream, and I totally forget about it. So, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of people say they like it off in its own stream. I don't like it. I don't know when other people are playing. I don't know uh, when you know some things have happened. It's out of sight, out of mind for me. And you know, every so often I'll say, "Oh yeah, I was was doing something there." Oh well. So uh, I, I think the way they implemented games on, on Google Plus is uh, pretty half-heartedly, uh, pretty weakly, uh, very non-plus-like. I, I think they could have done a lot better. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to them doing a lot better with it. I think I think what they what they can do with that is give you an option to to have the game stream into your mainstream, like if I have it part of your mainstream. Like it it it'd probably be very easy to implement, right? Just have a little check mark. Check it if you want it in your mainstream, and check it if you don't want it in your mainstream. Because a lot of people don't want it, in, like don't they don't want it cluttered. And, like, I, no, my, absolutely. My girlfriend plays my, my my girlfriend plays my Facebook games. Like she, she logs on to to use my account to play her games, you know, and to, and, and get free stuff and whatnot. And there's a lot of of game posts on my stream. Like it, it, I can't see anything except for game posts. So Absolutely, I, I, but I like the I like the way it is. But uh, if 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 people want uh, it in their mainstream, I think there should be an option there for for them to have it in the mainstream. That that'd be I mean, a pretty good idea. Here's, here's the thing, Bowie. I mean, you know, Google Plus when they went and did it, they went and said, "Hey, we can do social networks smarter and better than people did it before." And, you know, in a lot of ways they did. They gave us circles. They gave us different ways of filtering our content and managing it the way we wanted it. And then they just said, oh, yeah, uh, games. Okay, we'll toss them over here. You know, it's kind of like saying they didn't really know what to do with it, but they knew that everyone, you know, that they knew that a lot of people would be really annoyed if it showed up in the mainstream by default. So instead of trying to find a good solution that works for everything, they just kind of pushed it off to the side as a problem they didn't want to deal with yet. Um, I, 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 I think they were, they were listening to everyone, though, but I don't think the people who said that they want it in their mainstream were hurt. I mean, I, I think they were drowned out by everyone else saying that they don't want it in their mainstream, so they just made it separate. So I, I, well, I, 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 th- I really I think, think right. that they, they, they were li- I think they were listening to, to what, what everyone was saying, but what er- everyone was saying was they don't want it part of the mainstream. I think so I think they were drowned out. I mean, you're the first person I've heard that, that has said that they want it in the mainstream. So I I I I think they were listening to everyone, but they but people with your opinion were were just drowned out by everyone else's. Well I, 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 I think you're right. That, uh, I, you know, I don't want it in the mainstream to be honest, I don't want most of them in the mainstream. I don't play, of the, the 16 games that are currently there, I play three at the most, one most of the time. I don't want to hear about the others. I really don't. 
I mean, I'm sure they're fun games, but I don't want to hear about them. I think, and that's where I think Google kind of, you know, one of the things that Google, the biggest problem that Google has with all of Plus is they need to find the needs and understand the needs of all of their users and create a system that works for everyone. And I think what they did in the okay. gaming case is they said, oh, we just, you know, every, nobody likes how Facebook games are played. Everyone wants games. So we'll take the, the quick and dirty way out for now. And hopefully they're really and honestly evaluating that as things go on. To find right, there's a nice way of doing it, not an easy way of doing it. Let, let, let me ask you this question. How, how, how would you deal with that? What would what, be a good system for you how, the way how, how I would you like it to work? The way I hey, think ro- hey real quick, let me interject. Uh, Bowie, stand by a window or something because you're breaking up bad. You're, I don't know if you're streaming yeah, too much or... Okay. You're, okay, go ahead. Go uh, ahead. No, uh, I'm, on, I'm on my cell phone. Okay, the go way ahead. I would do it, the way I would do it, and this is praise again, the way I would do it is requires two changes. The first change is one that everyone has been asking for since day one, and that would let you control which circles are in your default stream. You know, there are people who, who you know, follow a whole bunch of people, but they put them into different circles. They don't necessarily want them in the default stream, but they want them in other streams. And, you know, they, they want to be able to look at them when they get the chance. That's fine. The second thing is, so once, once you have that in place, the other thing you do is either by default or at your control, instead of having a separate game stream, you can send all games to a circle. You can make it more than one circle. You can control which games go to which circle, just like you control which people go to which circle. Once you have that, you can then say, okay, I want this game circle to go into my default stream. I want this game circle to be followed all the rest of the time. And I want these other games to kind of vanish. I don't want to even know that they exist. Okay, that's a very plus-like way of doing things. It's a very intuitive way of doing things. And it gives everybody what they want. Hmm. What do you think, Bowie? And, and it's relatively time. easy to do. Hmm. All right, we've solved that issue. <laughs> I got a uh you what what's up with this picture? Um Scott in the he, he did I gotta put this up. This is great. Um I I'll, I'll pull it up in a sec. Uh I gotta find it here. Um he did this uh, rather insulting picture of me, but it's hysterical. It's great. Uh, I'll pull it up. It's on my profile. Scott has too much free time. All right, so let's. Uh, while I do that, let's look. I'm, I've lost. I've got too many tabs open, and I can't tell where the noise is coming from. Let me mute, mute uh, Bowie again. Um, all right, what do you guys think of the as as a person who does streaming shows, um, and, and then they go on YouTube. Now, many many more people watch them after. Right, I've had like four thousand watch after so far, and that grows. But at the most, we've had like fifty live viewers, and then the audio—I'm not sure—it's less than that on the audio. So most people watch after the fact. But I think it would be neat if you could have a hangout and you could send it on YouTube. You could either record it to YouTube, but then I guess everyone have to, you know would everyone agree to that? Um, but now they're doing the reverse. Uh, has anyone done this? Has anyone done a hangout from within YouTube? Um, Anthony, have you tried that out or? Um, no, I just heard about that today. And, um, I mean, I guess I don't use, I, I've never felt the need to use YouTube and go into a hangout. I guess that's just not the type of person I am, but, uh, it's interesting. What do you think, uh, and prisoner, uh, is that something that appeal or is that something to pr- probably a younger demographic than we are? I'm guessing. Gee, thanks, Dan. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the sort of thing where I think it's a good first step. I mean, I think it's, it's the kind of thing where you can say, hey, I want to watch this video with a bunch of friends of mine, and I want us all to watch it at the same time. And, uh, you know, I want us all to be able to, to talk about it at the same time. So, I, I, you know, it kind of brings the environment of, hey, we're all sitting in, our living, in, in my living room watching a movie. Or we've all gone to a movie theater and we're watching a movie. Now, this is one step of the way to saying, okay, we're all, all hanging out and watching a movie. And uh, I think it's a good 
it's a good step. You know, I, I think there's a lot of other things that uh, they can do better with the the YouTube Plus integration. I think there are a lot of other integrations that I'm hoping to see. But I think this is an indication. I, I take this more as a sign that Google is serious about bringing Plus to all of their products. Really, they're. I mean, they began by bringing all their products to Plus. Wasn't that kind of the one of the gravy points that, that there are all these things like Picasso. I, I never used Gmail. And now I love it. Uh, I never used uh, Google Talk, and then Bowie got me on that. Remember that Bowie when you um, you got me? Uh, yeah, you know, you get, Blackberry everyone, Messenger is lame. Yep, Bowie got me on Google Plus too. Yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, so I, nice. yeah, I, I think you're right about that. I got to show this picture Scott did. He's in the chat room. This is hysterical. Um, I'm I, I got to. Crop it, I guess. But uh, this is me. Um, I think I'm, I'm insulted here. What are you doing, Bowie? I don't know what Bowie's doing. He's loud, though. He's right. In my, I don't know if you can hear, but he's right in my ear. All right. So, um, all right. Um, so in YouTube, you can be watching a video, and uh, you can start a hangout from within YouTube, and then you can talk about it. I'm not sure I'll have to try that because I don't understand the practical application. I must, I must be missing something. Um, I guess you and your I friends think can... That, uh, Go ahead. I think that when YouTube starts adding more you know, content, more like uh, TV shows and movies, that it might become more of a useful um, application because the Xbox has it for Netflix where you can start a party and have a whole bunch of people watch the same you know, Netflix thing at the same time. And well, so, uh, I think one advantage. More, I'm sorry, Anthony. Go ahead. I think as uh, YouTube gets more premium content, I guess we can call it, that this uh, hangout thing from YouTube might become more useful. Yeah, and it's it's more ad opportunities for them because if uh, if I'm watching a video and I can get nine of my friends to join me watching it, then that's 10 people seeing the ads in the video versus one. Um, I don't know if it's that, that way now, but I'm sure in the future, you know, that's something, you know, the light bulb that went off in their head. Um, so yeah, it's just getting their products more popular and, uh, uh, getting their advertising, um, out to more people, which is good for the advertisers and good for Google. And then, um, also there were a couple of Chrome extensions that were cool. Um, you can put your latest plus status in your email signature, and I've got a link there to that um, in in our in our show notes. Uh, and then another extension lets you pause your stream. That's a big deal that he addressed in in the video, um, the Tim O'Reilly Bradley Horowitz video. That's a problem. What do you guys? Uh, um, Tristan, is that an issue? I'm not sure how many people you you have circled, but uh, does your stream just? like blow up and uh it sometimes you'll miss something you're trying to watch or you can't yeah, find it read a, i'll try and read a long post or watch a video on my stream and stream pauses help me a lot because i can just pause it enjoy the video read whoever's post i'm reading because sometimes i'll just log in and i'll see a post I like and all of a sudden like five ten posts just come out of nowhere and then i'm lost yeah, I'll mind the video is playing. It'll go down, but it'll kind of stop. Even when I'm trying to post something or post a comment on something, uh, sometimes it'll disappear and I've got to find it. You know, I'm like, man, I got a comment here somewhere and I'm halfway through typing it. And God help you if you go to get a cup of coffee or something, because by the time you come back, oh, yeah, it could definitely. be, you know. Uh, Bowie, I know you're, you, you've got a number of people who've circled you, probably more than any of us. And, and so I'm sure you've reciprocated with some of those folks. Is that. How do you keep track? Uh, do you have any secrets, uh, or do you use a, a, a pause Chrome extension, or what do you do when your stream is flowing? Muted. Nope, he's not muted. Um, I guess he's <laughs> he must be uh, he's lost down our stream. I guess. Um, Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, Verizon, Verizon, oh. you there? Yeah, Bowie. Uh, what do you do when your stream's going too quick? Do you have a trick? I don't really check because I, I just check on the post itself and just read the post and have the have the actual post in, the, in a tab or something. I don't I don't have a. Man, I thought Canada had better internet than the U.S. What's up? Uh, um, You're kidding me, Dan. 
Canada have better internet? Not even close. Oh, really? I thought um, we were like the... Uh, I, have, I, have my, I have my Bluetooth all messed up. I'm sorry. You're talking to me through Bluetooth, <laughs> through a cell phone, through probably a, a Wi-Fi connection, right? Or you want a cell connection? No, no. I, 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 had, it, I had it on, a, on a, a wired headset, but that wasn't working. And then so I, I unplugged it, and I was talking to you on my cell phone. But I turned on my Bluetooth, and I didn't realize that the Bluetooth connected to the phone while I was still talking on the phone. So... Yeah, I'm all, I'm all fussed over here. No uh, wires. It, 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 can, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Is it all working? Yeah. All good? It's rough, but okay. you got, uh, you're got you definitely on a, some kind of like uh, um, one of those internet phone systems, wh- which you can't get away from the computer's tendency to attenuate everything. So when you're not talking, it picks up the cat walking through the next room and the fly landing, whatever. Oh, okay, you know um, what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you right back. I'm going to call you right back. Okay? I'm going to use a different phone. All right. Sounds good. Prisoner, what do you think? Do you have an issue with that, where your stream's just flooding at 80 miles an hour and you can't keep track? Uh, my bigger problem is that, you know, with one of the latest changes they put in, uh, as stuff comes into my stream, it's jumping up and down while I try to read the same thing. So it's not even scrolling past me. It's just, you know, making my eyes jump. But uh, that's my biggest problem with it. I'm not a big fan of the extensions, though, so I live with it for now. Um, yeah, I use some, and I find some are a pain. Go ahead, Anthony. Do any of you guys use the uh, hotkeys? Because I may be incorrect about this, but it seems like when you press um, J or K to move around the stream, and you press one of those two keys, that the post that you're on seems to like lock in where it is. And then I'll see something new pop up, but the, uh, the scroll bar just you know changes size, and my uh, post stays where it is. That's interesting. I'll have to give that a try next time. It's been a while since I used JNK on Plus. Yeah, I remember hearing that, and I, I never used it. Um, and, and apparently there's a bunch of hotkeys. Bowie's a big fan of that. He's always trying to get me to, to learn more hotkeys and use them. Um, and, there used uh, to be, used to be the M key, which would mute um, the post so you wouldn't see it again. But they seem to have removed that one, which is kind of strange. I thought, but huh? Okay, that's interesting. Um, all right, we are uh, officially out of topics, um, and it's about eight fifty-seven. Do any guys uh, any any final thoughts, uh, prisoner? You'll I'm sure want to comment on everybody else. So let me finish with you, um, Anthony. You got any other issues that have cropped up this week, or anything you want to uh, bring up on our Google Plus Week show? Um, well, it doesn't really have to do with Google+, Plus, but um, I was reading across the Internet about how only nine, uh, only 10% of the Internet knows how to use the Control-F function on their keyboards, the, the find function, which hmm. I found that uh, to be shocking. <laughs> you mean as opposed to they don't know how to f- find something or they don't know that hot key? In other words, they, they might just go to edit? But it's pretty intuitive in most of the browsers. When you go to edit, find, it'll put right next to it. You can also press Control F, and if, if they use that function enough times, eventually they'll be like, "Hey, you know." Most of us stumble across well, these they, that way. I think. I mean, I don't go through lists, right. you know, of hotkeys. I just, oh, okay, that's a neat, faster way to do it. The way it came across was that people weren't even using the function at all, whether it be going through the file system or uh, using the hotkey for it. So. I've used it to search through my stream to find a post if I had to walk away for a second, um, especially during okay. prime time. You know, if it's 4 a.m. or something, you know, it's, you know, one, two, three. But, like, at prime time, I mean, it's bam, bam, bam. God help if you want to watch a video. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's an issue. Um, any, uh, uh, Tristan, any uh, last thoughts? No, I think we pretty much covered it. Okay. Uh, Bowie, any final thoughts from Vancouver on whatever device you're currently chatting with us from? I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about now. I, I um, You sound like you're in a bathroom, but don't elaborate. Um, no, I'm not in the bathroom. I'm outside my living room. He's like the most high-tech guy who calls the show, and, and every time he calls, he sounds like he's in Gaddafi's uh, bunker or something. Um, no, you're on, just, you're on speakerphone. That's why. Okay, so tell me, uh, do you have any other in- in- interesting things you want to bring up about Google Plus that happened this week, or just any observations about where it's going? Uh, no. 
All right. No. Um, caught him off the spot. Uh, he's probably he's afraid to bring up something we might have covered. Um, prisoner, I know you've got something uh, that you might want to bring up. Any observations? About, uh, what you, what's the state of the? You know, the president gives a State of the Union address. What is uh, the state of uh, Google Plus as we are, what, about week eight now, right? Yeah, about that. I think we, we are just uh, wrapping up uh, one full month. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is in the, the, sorry, two full months. I think in the past two months we've, we've seen a lot. Um, there's still a lot out there that's exciting us. Uh, but I think everyone is going, yeah, what's next? You know when uh, when do we get the next big thing? I, you know I think you know way, uh, games came in they made a little wave. We keep getting these little changes coming in. I think everyone's just waiting for okay when is the big thing going to be here? And we've uh, we've heard some vague promises uh, at the beginning of the week even that we were going to see the next big thing for Plus coming real soon this week maybe next week. So I think everyone is is kind of there. And uh, just holding on, you know, holding their breath, waiting for that. Um, I did want to, to say something that, uh, that we've been chatting about a lot. Uh, Scott and I and a couple of others have, uh, have had a good chat going on in the chat room. And uh, one of the things I, I think I want to say, a lot of people are really passionate about what's going on with Plus. You're holding this show that shows your passion for it. You've got a bunch of people calling in, a bunch of people chatting. You know, I think all of us, are on plus because we like it we see its potential maybe we've got some problems with it some of us have more problems with it than others but i think all of us are you know are are here because we want it to succeed we want it to be something great we think google can do it and we're just kind of sitting by the sidelines cheering them on um and when you know the problems that we have the complaints that we have the fact that we sometimes get mad at Google, you know, this either by you know by this amorphous entity or by the specific names of people, um, if we're mad at them, it's because we are expecting them to do great things and we can't wait to see them do it. You know, so I, I I come across a lot of times as being mad at Google, and I know I do. I know a lot of people do. I think the reason why we do is because we're holding them to an incredibly high standard. But we know they can meet that standard, and uh, you know I, I just want to make sure that people understand that. All right, uh, that's awesome. And, and as we said before, that you know I, I try to make that point every time when, when one of us goes on a rant. I say you know we're friends. We're, we're uh, we do have high expectations, and and we're excited about this, and we want it to be done right because we've seen other social networks screw it up and irritate us. Uh, think Zuckerberg. And uh, we don't want that to happen to this one. And we like it. And we say with affection these things, even when we're ranting and wisps of smoke coming out of our ears. Any uh, any response to that, Bowie? You guys always love to do a little uh, give and take. No, I just I just don't I don't think it's fair for us to be mad at them. Like we we it's they're they're giving us a service. We're using it, right? We can't get mad at them. They're 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 trying their best to 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 listen to us and 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 do what do what we want them to do, right? So yeah, to a degree, but. But 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 there there are legitimate reasons. When someone when someone had invested hours and hours and weeks of, of circling people, getting circled, and put their profile up, and their name is you know Violet Blue or whatever, and they were just doing wholesale deletions of accounts, um, and people felt, uh, you know, how dare they? Uh, I've, I've you know they've invited me to join this thing, and I've joined it, and I'm using my real name, or I'm I'm using the I'm meeting the criteria that they've stipulated. And now they have, uh, you know, got rid of my account uh, without uh, me giving me an opportunity to explain that that's my real name. I, are there are re- legitimate reasons why people would fall through the cracks and be upset. Okay, well, that that I I just I I think we should uh, just give them a little more leeway. I mean, it's still in beta. You know, it's it's not it's not out there to the like to the for the full public yet, right? They're 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 listening to us. So I think I think we just give them a little bit of a leeway. That's 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 all I'm saying. We don't we should we shouldn't make a like a huge deal of of it, you know. Where is the love? To, uh, Go ahead. Use their names on Google Plus if they want to, because if they want to like remain anonymous, they have the right to do that on the internet. It's like a privacy thing. 
they have a right to do it on sites that allow you to, right? Because they can. I mean, they set the rules. You know, we like them. I don't want to get off on a beating up because that wasn't the point that prisoner was making. The point is that occasionally we bring up these issues, and this is a real niche show where we talk about specific Google Plus things and some that we really like and we're excited about, like the fact that the games are not necessarily. Um, man, I got to mute Bowie again. My God. Um, but like, like sometimes the games are. The, we, we were really excited. The stream is separate, and and all prisoner was trying to say, uh, not to put words in his mouth, but we, we, we weren't trying to go on a rant. We were just trying to say that when we do have these issues, that we're doing it as friends, uh, among friends, and saying like, you know, we care about you, and the people closest to you will tell you the truth. And so, uh, prisoner has has told the truth to Google. All right, I want to thank uh, uh, Anthony. Uh, Anthony, shoot me an email or share a post with me or something uh, so I can get your profile so I can link to it. Uh, in the description, if you if you would like to, uh, appreciate you calling. Thanks so much. And uh, you're prisoner, welcome. as always, you're awesome. I always appreciate you calling. Um, and I really, really want you to send me a, a less pixelated picture, so I can uh, make you look even better with your um, odd puppet thing there. Uh, Bowie, as always, um, even though I have to mute you every time because you call through some weird. Um, I I uh, think I figured it out though. I figured it out. I figured how to make it better for next time. <laughs> All right. Promises, promises. How, how do I sound now? How do I, how do I sound now? You sound good until you stop talking, and then I can hear every noise within three blocks. That's the problem. It's the attenuator oh. on the computer system you're using. Um, and then, uh, Tristan, nice meeting you. I appreciate it. I hope you don't get. I hope we don't cause you to get busted um, before the minor policy happens. And uh, and of course. And Scott, I appreciate the uh, attractive picture you did of me with my phone and. Uh, and the pot belly from uh, William Shatner. Um, all right, guys, thanks so much. Uh, this concludes this week's Google Plus Week. We'll see you in one week. All right. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.